I think the next big trend of 2024 will be um, around supply chains. I think um, supply chains are being pretty badly impacted, whether that be through the Ukraine war, COVID, um, US-China relations. And I think a lot of that will settle down in 2024. It'll help bring down the prices of a bunch of equipment and services, and it will really support projects to move a lot more quickly because up until now, there's been real challenges around getting some of this um, infrastructure in a timely manner. Um, combine that with the fact that minerals and metals are a key talking point for the energy transition. You know, We need a lot more of these uh, materials to facilitate the development and deployment of energy transition projects. And... I would have not predicted this time last year that we'd see ExxonMobil investing in a lithium mine in the US, of which they just announced. And in parallel to that, Chile just uh, declared that it's going to nationalize its lithium industry. And I think this really shows that companies and countries are realizing that the next big superpower opportunities are going to come out of this energy transition. And uh, we're going to have competition for resources, which will truly kind of reshape our trade, our markets, our politics, and potentially even borders, which is kind of crazy. And I think um, a lot of this is going to feed into election discussions. Um, I'm blown away, Dan. There's like 70 countries that have elections in 2024. So talk about um, this being probably a hyper-focal point for energy sovereignty, um, country security. Uh, it's all going to roll up into that.